everyone. Good morning everyone and welcome <laughs> back to another day with us Inghams. We hope you've all had an awesome, awesome weekend. We shall have, haven't we? Yeah. Are you giggling lots? No, I'm just excited. <laughs> you might tell me we're going somewhere fun. You're excited because I might tell you we're going somewhere fun? Yeah. What are we going to do? We're going to do something fun. <laughs> well, we actually do. are doing something fun today, Ayla. What is it? Well... Yesterday we were going to go to the city park, Centenary Square, which has got lots of light, a kind of a light show going on. But we didn't get a chance to do it yesterday, so we're going to go today instead when Daddy gets home. We are. I have just got out of the shower, as you can probably tell. Isabel and Isabel I... Isabel and Lucy. Yep, yeah, that's the ones. <laughs> They're all downstairs having a slumber party. Nobody's got dressed this morning. It's about 11 o'clock and I'm the only... I'm not even dressed. I'm the only one that's got up and got um, washed and showered though. Everyone else is having a lazy, lazy slumber party Sunday. Ah. I am just going to go and quickly dry my hair and get myself ready and then I'm going to sit down and have a chat with you guys because I'm feeling... No. Slightly strange today. I'm feeling a bit funny today and I want to have a chat with you guys about it. So, I'm going to dry my hair and I'll be back. And I am ready for the day. So, I just wanted to sit down and do a really, really quick, I'm not going to go on for ages, don't worry. I just wanted to do a really, really quick talk to you guys about emotions and basically just how I am feeling today. <clears throat> so, tomorrow is mine and Chris's one year wedding anniversary. We have been married tomorrow for a whole year and actually by the time you're watching this video it will be today so monday the 10th of october is our one year wedding anniversary now when we booked our wedding whenever i thought about weddings and when i when we got married and things like that and i thought about one year anniversaries the main thing I thought would be, oh my goodness, that's going to be such an exciting day. Our one year wedding anniversary, it'll be so exciting, it'll be full of happiness and joy and celebration. And right now, our wedding anniversary is tomorrow and I'm probably feeling every single emotion in the world except excitement. And that surprises me because it should be a day that's very exciting and all about celebrating and right now I just feel I'm not going to say depressed because that's such a strong word and I'm not I am not depressed maybe down I'm feeling really down and bummed and quite emotional and sad that tomorrow is our one year wedding anniversary I don't know why I think it might be to do with the fact that well, actually, I do know why, and I'll come to that in a minute. But I think I think it might be to do with the fact that you, you're thinking this time last year we were getting ready for our church rehearsal. We were so excited. Everything was just everything was just so buzzing and exciting, and everyone was so happy. And it was just the most incredible time, literally, of both of our lives. It was so 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 exciting. And then the day after the wedding, we headed to America for three weeks for our honeymoon. And I mean, you just don't get more excited than that. And it was just the most awesome, awesome time. But that time and the next day on our wedding anniversary was actually the last day that I saw my mum. It was the last day that I had a mum and that I saw my mum. I don't know if you have been, how long you guys have been watching our vlogs and if you have watched our, sorry, my emotional Mother's Day special vlog that I uploaded in March. If you haven't watched it, it explains a lot around how I lost my mum and all the emotions and things like that that was included in her passing. But my wedding day, this time last year, was the last day I saw my mum. I then went on a three week honeymoon and my mum did fight her battle until I got back and she lasted I think it was t 
20 days or something like that by the time I got back from America and I spent all those days by her bedside but that wasn't really my mum it was kind of it was a shell of the person that she once was on my wedding day my mum got up and danced with me and she was able she was she was very very sick but she was able to get up and dance with me and laugh and smile and enjoy the day and in the three weeks that we were in America the cancer had moved and gone to her brain and her eyesight had gone funny and she wasn't able to stand up on it anymore she wasn't even able to really sit up by herself anymore and she would basically just she'd gone but she hadn't gone if that makes sense she wasn't the mum that she wasn't the mum that she was, if that makes sense. She was kind of a shell. And so, really, this time last year was... If anybody's ever lost anyone, then you'll understand that the first year is the hardest. It's all like, this time last year, I know I'd definitely speak to her, and I think that's why I'm feeling so emotional today. And so... And struggling to sorry <laughs> I'm just struggling to celebrate the day because it's too much emotion still there <clears throat> there's just so much emotion still there it's only been 11 months since my mum passed away and although our channel is usually so happy and so upbeat and that's not fake that's our lives we are generally a really upbeat happy family who just loves life appreciates everything that we have in our lives and just loves to celebrate everything and just be happy but we are still human and I still all of us we still all have emotions just the same emotions emotions just the same as you all do and I guess when you daily vlog your lives in the way we do some days are just like this some days are emotional and hard to deal with and sometimes it's good to just come up to my bedroom like I have done right now the girls are all happily downstairs nobody knows like the girls are not suffering right now everyone's happy but it's just sometimes good to come upstairs and get out how you're feeling and today is just one of those days that i needed to do that so tomorrow is our one year wedding anniversary and i'm really hoping that we can just celebrate the day and remember our wedding day for the incredible awesome amazing day that it was but for me it was more than a special day than because it was the day I married Chris obviously it was an incredible day because I married my soulmate but also it was the last day that I got to truly spend time with my mum and I guess that sucks in a way <laughs> that sucks because every wedding anniversary I just hope that I don't feel like this and that I'm feeling like this right now because it's the first one and it's the first time I've had to deal with it and I'm hoping that from here on I'll be able to enjoy our wedding anniversary the way that everybody else does and because of the reason why you're supposed to enjoy it you know you've been married for a whole year and it's something to celebrate and be happy about but I'm hoping that this year is one off and I'm just feeling so emotional and down right now because it's the first one and the first year after losing someone is always going to be the hardest as I've definitely learned and also when you lose someone it's hard on the days like birthdays, Christmas and days like today because I know for a fact that I would have received a card from my mum, we would have spoke on the phone, she would have been happy and excited and wished us a happy wedding anniversary and I know as a lot of you say she'll be looking down on me and 
she'll hopefully be proud of everything that I am achieving in my life. But yeah, some days it's just hard to deal with and today is one of those days. <clears throat> we haven't actually made plans, I say we, I, I haven't actually made plans for our wedding anniversary but Chris is usually really good with things like that and I'm sure he's got something up his sleeve, I don't know what but he's been very very sneaky this last few days and <laughs> I'm sure he's planning something. So hopefully today will be an emotional day and then tomorrow hopefully I can just enjoy the day and yeah just enjoy the day. So I'm really sorry that I just put a big downer probably on this vlog. I didn't mean to cause any upset or downness. I will be going for a good cry right now and then I'll be back to my normal happy self. But I just wanted to share, share with you how I'm feeling because I think it's important to be true to your subscribers and let them know that yeah we have so much positivity in our lives and we're happy and we you know we act, we love to enjoy life but at the end of the day we are still human we do still have feelings and emotions that we have to deal with just the same as you guys do and so i just wanted to share with you how i was feeling this morning if you haven't watch this the vlog regarding my mum then I will link it down in the description box below and you can head on over and take a look at that I will also insert a card right now so you can just click on that and go and have a look it is an emotional vlog so just beware if you don't want to watch it that's fine if you're feeling a bit sad and you just want to be lifted up then don't go and watch that because it is a bit emotional <laughs> but yeah right that's it now. No more speak about sadness or anything like that. So, today I have Lucy who slept over last night, Isabel's BFF. She is just been such a good girl. They've both been so good. They slept downstairs in the living room. Chris was up for work at 3am this morning. So we went to bed at about I think it's like 10pm. We got quite an early night and we left Isabel and Lucy downstairs with the TV and movies and said they had to turn it off by midnight. Isabel is usually so good about going to bed. She goes to bed at the same time as Esme and Isla on a school night and never ever complains. So for her birthday and her first big sleepover with a friend, we just said, you know what, you can stay up till midnight because that was her like, we have to stay up till midnight and have snacks. So she did that and they were really, really good. They did turn the TV off. I think it was around midnight. And then I woke at 8.15 a.m. this morning and the house was still silent. So pretty, pretty good and really, really impressed with how well behaved they've been. Isabel's just got out some of her birthday presents now and she sat with Lucy at the table downstairs doing them. Esme and Isla are watching movies. I think I'm going to get everyone dressed. And then, don't know, maybe go out and have some lunch. Wait for Chris to get home at 1 and then we're going to Bradford to see a light show it's not really a show but they have lights up and it's supposed to be really pretty so we're going to go and do that let's go see what the girls are doing Yeah. What we're going to do now though? Um, wash it all off because we don't want it to irritate your skin. But you can have a little bit of lis lipstick back on. Okay? Going to wash it all off? Yeah. Because you're so beautiful. You don't need makeup. I want makeup. You want some lipstick though? Okay. There we go. That's so much better, isn't it? You still got a little bit of lipstick on. You don't need all that makeup. Your sisters don't either, or Lucy. But they're girly girls and they like to play and it's a special sleepover day. And that's what girls do. So we won't complain. But you look so cute. So we just dropped Lucy off home. We thought we'd walk down, get some nice fresh air. The second we left the house, what did it do, Izzy? Hi. Poured it down with rain. So hello frizzy hair. Hello, wet, soggy tights. 
but because we're both wearing tight we are Love hello to shopping because we thought while we were down here we might just pop into Argos and pick up a reservation I made for Esme uh, for Christmas and then I don't know might make the most of this hour we've got on our own hey daddy is busy doing something at home I have been told I can't go back to the house for an hour like I said, he's been a bit fishy lately. Yeah. These last few days, we think he's organising something. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure he is. I need to buy you an anniversary cap. Because I love you. Aww. Isabel has just asked if she can borrow some money to buy me an anniversary card. And I'll pay you back. <laughs> You're so sweet. It's because so, I've, I've got a new £5 notes from my friend. Oh my gosh, yes, she did. She got so much money yesterday. Yeah, I got, got like £70 or something. Yeah, and like, they're all they're the new £5 notes, the plastic ones. We see through bits, and I was like, you got loads, didn't you? Yeah, I got loads. She has some awesome, generous friends. Yeah. Right now, we're going to Vargas to look up a reservation. So let's go. Right, we've come to Sainsbury's because they have better cakes and look how delicious they look. Like, they look delicious. Mm. They look so yummy. Which one are you going for, Izzy? Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. Yummy. Mm. It's got little bits of chocolate in it, so it's very nice. Is it yummy, yummy? Mm hmm. Can I try some? Go on then. around 3 p.m. we met up with Chris and Esme and Isla and my little Isla look at her poly eyes she is not feeling very well are you we just gave her some cow pol so hopefully she will start feeling better soon we're just going to Granny Grandpa's for an hour and then we're going to see the forest of lights are you looking forward to that Isla yeah let's go see Granny and Grandpa yeah let's go so we just left granny and grandpa's we ended up staying for a couple of hours as it was so sweet watching Prinny run around and chase coco and coco run around chasing Prinny, and she just absolutely loves going there to play with her little doggy buddy so we all enjoyed just sitting watching them playing and having a nice little sunday chat so we just left it's around 6 p.m and we are now on our way to drop Prinny off home and then we're going to is it Forest of Lights? Is yeah, it called? Forest of Lights. It's called Forest of Lights. It's at Centenary Square in Bradford. It's been on since Thursday. Today is Sunday and the last day that it is on. So we're going to check that out. Just dropped Prinny off at home and having a very cheeky pit stop in McDonald's on the way to the Forest of Lights. Ooh, daddy. What are you want it, love? I made some chips and a burger. We're having a mismatch tonight, aren't we? We've got like, I'm a lady like that. We've got like nuggets, we've got like burgers, we've got like a whole load of stuff, just mix and match style. <laughs> Let's go see what the girls are doing. <gasps> Esme, what are you doing? I'm eating my chips and friends and granny What did you get on your Happy Meal though? What do you mean? Chicken I nuggets or burger, what did you get? Or a wrap? I got, where's my wrap? I got. You got a chicken wrap? Yeah, yeah. you love these, don't you? Isla? Nugget head, yeah. You got nugget heads and chips, and I'm paying, and I'm doing this. What are you doing on this iPad? Tell I'm, me. I'm coloring. Oh, that's really good. Where's my whistle? See what Biggest is doing. What have you got, babe? What did you go for? 
wrap. You went for a wrap too. Oh yeah. What are you doing on this iPad? I like this iPad thing in McDonald's, don't you? Yeah. That one. That Ooh, one. that looks cool. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, really quick pit stop before we head down to Bradford Centre, see the Forest of Lights. So, let's eat. We just got into Bradford and Park in this big, huge, freezing cold, multi-story car park in Fregel. And now, we are just walking over to Centennial Square. Way, way, way high. Oh, what the the, <laughs> the girls have just done this a strange noise in the car, and now they all keep doing it. These steps are quite scary. And whilst you're not saying that, Turn around Henry, look at the little girl! Whilst you're not saying that, you know, you should go what level. You guys are going to be in the vlog tomorrow, so say hi! hi. <laughs> See you later, have a nice evening! Bye bye! This is a great tip from Isabel on beauty, and this is how to make perfect wavy hair. <laughs> go on, you water. <laughs> Is this Esme? So nice. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's really like uplifting and I don't know, just makes me feel happy being here. It's so, so nice. We just met a lovely little girl who watches our YouTube channel. She's not allowed to be on our video unfortunately, but we just want to say a big hello to you and thank you for watching. How nice is this? Yeah, but how did the light, how did they get the light in? Um, I'm going to stay here forever. You're going to stay here forever? I'm going to stay here forever. Ella! cutest thing ever and it's times like this when I just know deep in my heart that I am bringing my girls up the right way despite any negativity we get I know hello Isla mind out the way a second I know I'm bringing them up the right way because as mate just saw I don't know if you can see just to the right of me a homeless man and she asked me 
why he was sat on the floor and I explained that he was homeless and she said can we give him some money and I said we don't have I don't have any change right now and then my sweet little Esme said I've got a pound that I got earlier can I give that to him and so that's what she's going to do and she literally wow I just got a penny <laughs> and this Little, literally makes my heart want to burst with proud pride. I am so proud of you, Esme. There's a little shop just over there selling sweeties and all sorts of goodies. And I said, I think if you Esme want, deserves one. And I said, if you want, you can go and spend your money over there and buy some sweeties. And she said, I don't want to. I want to give it to this mister. So he can buy himself a hot drink tonight. You ready to go give me on pennies? I'm very proud of you, Esme. That's very good, Esme. Okay? Very kind. You're welcome. Well done, Esme. You're welcome. Come on then. <laughs> Say bye bye. Oh, bless him. That's so sweet. Well done, Esme. I'm so proud of you. This is why everybody should visit Bradford. <laughs> It is such a gorgeous city, full of culture and amazing things like this all the time. It's super, super beautiful, super gorgeous. The people down here are just awesome. And yeah, it just has such a lovely, lovely feel to the place. And it's just beautiful, look, look at this. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous city and I'm proud to live in it. So that is it from the Bradford Forest of Light for tonight. It's just coming up to 8.15 and we are walking back to the car. Gonna head home for a nice early night tonight. Obviously I was up this morning at 3.30 for work and I am tired and we've got a super busy day tomorrow. I'm gonna let you guys in on a massive secret. Tomorrow is mine and Sarah's one year wedding anniversary and I might have something planned. But I'll tell you all later when I don't have ear wigging ears around. Okay, guys, I've got a little secret to let you all in on. Like I was saying just before, but I've got to talk really quietly so that nobody hears me, okay? So, we're just all home, everyone's getting into bed, and brushing teeth, getting ready to go to sleep. I'm just sat down about to start editing today's vlog and I wanted to tell you guys about a little secret that's happening tomorrow. And I can't tell you too much because I don't want anyone to hear upstairs, but I will just show you this. Now it's mine and Sarah's first year wedding anniversary tomorrow. So I have organized something a little top secret that is happening tomorrow. Something so awesome and exciting I cannot wait to share with you guys and with those guys upstairs. Okay guys, so for now I can't tell you any more than that but it's gonna be so good. I cannot wait for tomorrow. So guys, on that note, I hope you've all had a gorgeous, gorgeous day and that you've enjoyed today's vlog. If you have, give it a massive thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and drop us a comment below if you have. And we will see you all tomorrow. Have a gorgeous night, guys. Nanay. Bye. Mwah.